If you're planning to attempt the CCNA exam, stop right here. Most students underestimate how tricky this test is, and they go in unprepared. The result? They lose time, money, and confidence. But the truth is, CCNA is very much passable if you approach it the right way. In this video, I'm going to share the five most important things you must know before booking your CCNA exam. These are lessons from students who failed once, but passed the second time with the right mindset. So before you click that register button, take a few minutes to watch. It may save you weeks of frustration. The very first thing you need to do is understand the official Cisco exam blueprint. Cisco updates the CCNA topics every few years, and many candidates fail simply because they're studying from old books or outdated YouTube videos. The current CCNA, exam code 200 to 301, covers five domains, networking fundamentals, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and automation with programmability. Notice how topics like automation and programmability are new. These didn't exist in the older CCNA. So here's my advice. Go to Cisco's official website and download the latest exam topics PDF. Print it, stick it above your desk, and make sure every hour of your study time maps back to this blueprint. If your study resource doesn't match the blueprint, skip it. Simple rule. No blueprint, no study. Now let's talk about the single biggest deal breaker in CCNA, subnetting. Almost every student who fails tells the same story. I ran out of time because of subnetting questions. Cisco loves subnetting because it reveals whether you truly understand IP addressing or not. You must be able to calculate networks, hosts, and subnets in under a minute. That means you should know CIDR notation inside out, be able to break down a slash 26 into four subnets, and instantly recognize how many hosts a slash 29 supports. Don't just memorize. Practice daily until it becomes automatic. Use the binary method, but also learn shortcut tricks. My rule of thumb. If you can't solve a subnetting problem on a napkin without a calculator, you are not ready to book your exam yet. Passing CCNA isn't about cramming definitions. It's about proving you can configure and troubleshoot real devices. Cisco expects you to work in labs. That's why tools like Cisco Packet Tracer and GNS3 are your best friends. Don't just read about FLANs, configure them. Don't just memorize routing protocols. Actually set up RIP and OSPF, see how the routes appear, and troubleshoot when they don't. You should be comfortable creating static routes, NAT configurations, ACLs, and DCP pools. Aim to complete at least 50 labs before exam day. Remember, Multiple choice questions will test theory, but simulation questions will ask you to fix a broken network. If you've only studied notes, you'll freeze. If you've practiced hands-on, you'll smile when the simlet shows up. The CCNA exam is a race against time. You'll face around 100 to 120 questions in just two hours. That means you barely get a minute per question. Don't let subnetting eat 10 minutes of your clock. If you're stuck, Flag it and move on. Be extra careful with simulation questions. Once you skip them, you cannot return. So breathe, read carefully, and configure with confidence. For multiple choice questions, use elimination. Even if you're unsure, you can usually knock out two wrong answers quickly. Another tip, don't panic if your first few questions feel tough. Cisco randomizes the pool, so you might just be getting hard ones up front. Stay calm. Keep your pace and remember, it's about finishing with enough time for review. Finally, mindset and resources. Many students treat CCNA like a university exam. Memorize, revise, hope for the best. That won't work here. Think like a network engineer, not a test taker. Every topic in CCNA maps to real-world skills. Security fundamentals? That's firewalls and access control lists in action. IP services? That's configuring DHCP and NAT on an actual router. For resources, don't get lost in endless books. Stick to the essentials. Wendell Odom's Cisco Official Cert Guide, Boson Practice Exams for Realistic Testing, and Lab Tutorials from CBT Nuggets or Network Chuck for Motivation. The CCNA is globally respected, 
passing it signals that you can actually build and troubleshoot a network. So prepare like an engineer, and the exam will feel like a confirmation, not a surprise. Let's quickly recap. Step 1. Only study the latest Cisco blueprint. Step 2. Master subnetting until you can solve it in seconds. Step 3. Get your hands dirty 50 laps minimum. Step 4. Manage your time and know the exam strategies. And Step 5. Build the right mindset and use trusted resources. If you follow this roadmap, you'll walk into the exam with confidence. Remember, the CCNA is not just about passing. It's about proving to yourself and employers that you are ready for real-world networking. And if you want to go deeper, check my full networking playlist. I've explained OSI model, subnetting, routing, and packet tracer labs step-by-step. Step. That's your next step to becoming not just certified, but skilled.